We are here today, thousands of Likud members, member of Knesset, minister, telling Prime Minister Netanyahu we were elected to build, not to demolish. We do not want to see the picture of those houses which were ruined by Jewish bulldozers. We want to build in Judea and Samaria, and we will make sure that the Prime Minister is not following Defense Minister Ehud Barak, and we are building and we are allowing Jews to build here in Judea and Samaria. There is a clear message here tonight to the Prime Minister, to the government. We were elected to build and we will make sure that what we will do immediately after Sukkot. In order to have, uh, I would say, uh, a true um, motivation to go on with uh, a national pride, we need to build more, we need to extend our uh, our being here and, and to, save, uh, to save this wonderful place that was built with, uh, with the motivation of the country. Every Israeli, every Jew is happy to see Gilad Shalit back with his family, back here with us in Israel. But we are also very worried and we have to take precautions because there are hundreds of terrorists who are plotting to plan more terrorist attacks against us. So at this day, where we celebrate the return of Gilad Shalit, we are also very worried and we have to take steps to ensure the safety and the well-being of the Jews who live here and all over the world. I think that there is an important message that I deliver today. Um, the, the decision, the very hard decision to release over a thousand in, in order to get Shalit back home, I think this can be a um, point that Israel can, uh, can be looked in the world as, as, a, as a country that stop fighting terror. And I think this is, this is not right. Um, if we we're going to see these areas, as areas that Israel will develop, that as areas that Israel will say and stand still in front of the world and will say, this is our homeland, we're not going to give up on our homeland, and uh, to say in a very strict voice, we're going to fight our, um, our national fight on this place, I think this will be a good balance to the fact that today Many families in Israel are happy, but some other families are very, uh, I would say, disturbed or worried from the consequences of release of a thousand murders.